Joe Biden's latest attempt to reassure America has backfired spectacularly. The White House released a video meant to showcase the president's coherence, but instead it's left everyone questioning his mental fitness even worse than before. From mangled quotes to suspicious editing, this clip is a masterclass in unintentional comedy. And some billionaires are coming out and saying that they're not supporting Democrats any longer after they witnessed the great debate debacle on Thursday. Let's get into it. Hey, guys, welcome back to the channel. So the White House has outdone itself once again, serving up a steaming platter of incompetence with a side of unintentional hilarity. Now, picture this. Joe Biden, the leader of the free world, I guess, attempting to string together a coherent thought about democracy. Sounds pretty simple, right? So the powers that be decided it was high time to prove that good old Joe still has his marbles. Spoiler alert, it didn't exactly go according to plan. They released a video that was supposed to showcase Biden's razor sharp intellect and unwavering leadership. Instead, it became a comedy gold mine that would make even the most stoic comedian crack a smile. All right, let's get into this masterpiece of political theater, shall we? But fair warnings, folks. You might want to grab a drink first, because trust me, you're going to need it. Now, the video is only 38 seconds long. We're not talking about Gone with the Wind here, all right? And Joe only has to talk for that long about democracy. But he can't. Now, watch the number of cuts that come through. Democracy is the essence of who we are. We're the most unique nation in the world in that we're united, united based on race, ethnicity, geography. We're based on idea. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all women and men are created equal. It's in our Declaration of Independence and in our Constitution. They're the two things that are the guardrails to make sure democracy is able to be sustained. It's all about being able to show up and vote, be able to have an opportunity to get a fair deal, get an even chance. It all rests upon our Constitution and democracy is the vehicle and the method that holds that together. Think about that, guys. Nine cuts. Our, our esteemed president kicks things off with the zinger, saying democracy is the essence of who we are. Wow, Joe, that's profound stuff. I'm sure Jefferson is slow clapping in his grave right now, right? But wait, Biden continues. We're the most unique nation in the world. Now, I'm no grammar expert, but last time I checked, something can't be most unique. It's either unique or it's not. But hey, who needs proper English when you're the president, right? Now, here's where it gets really good. Biden attempts to quote the Declaration of Independence. You know, that little document that's only the foundation of our entire nation. No pressure here, Joe. But he confidently declares, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all women and men are created equal. Go play it back. Hate to break it to you, Mr. President, but that's not how the quote goes. The actual quote doesn't mention women at all, but who cares about accuracy when you're trying to appear woke? Am I right? Let that sink in for a moment, though. The President of the United States, the man with his finger on the nuclear button, can't speak coherently for more than a few seconds at a time. It's like watching a really bad improv show, except the stakes are much, much higher. Now, I know math whiz, but I did some quick calculations. With nine cuts in 38 seconds, that means Biden can string together about 4.2 seconds of coherent speech at a time. That's less time than it takes to microwave a burrito. Is this really the guy we want negotiating with world leaders? But here's the real tragedy. The Democrats who are still backing Biden, and there are plenty of them, actually expect us to believe he's fit for office. They look at this video with its Frankenstein editing and mangled quotes and think, yep, that's our guy. It's insulting. They think we're too stupid to notice the smoke and mirrors. They think we'll just nod along and pretend everything's fine. Well, I've got news for them. We're not buying it. America's not buying it. This video isn't just a PR disaster. It's a wake-up call. It's a glaring red flag that our commander-in-chief might not be firing on all cylinders. And instead of addressing the issue head-on, the White House is trying to gaslight us with these poorly edited propaganda pieces. But here's the million-dollar question. What are we going to do about it? Are we going to sit back and pretend this is normal? Are we going to let the media sweep this under the rug like they've done so many times before? There's several months left for him to do real big problems in the world. Or are we going to demand better? Are we going to insist on transparency, on honesty, 
on a leader who can actually lead without a teleprompter and a splicing team. The choice is ours, America. We can either face the truth, no matter how uncomfortable it might be, or we can keep playing along with this charade. All right. Thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button and get ready because that culture war rages on. See you in the next one. We just want to beat up parents who are speeding every time.